In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the mirror tool in Maya to mirror 3D objects to create full forms. When you're 3D modeling in programs like Maya, often it's best to make one side of an object so you only have to worry about modeling everything once. Then you can duplicate it with the mirror tool and have it mirror across. You can also use it to creatively make objects. For example, I have this object right here. I can use the mirror tool to mirror it across, or I can even make the object longer or rotate it in interesting ways. Let's see how that's done. Hold shift, right click, and select the mirror tool. Automatically, it starts to mirror. As you can see here, it mirrors and I can move this manipulator around. If I swing over to the other side, you'll notice that by default, it is cutting the geometry. So over here, if I unselect Cut Geometry, notice that now I have two copies inside each other. This can be problematic or exactly what you want. I'm going to put it back to Cut Geometry. The next option we have is the Mirror Access Position. We can change it from World to Object. So now it is mirroring inside the object. This is where the Mirror Access Position is, so it's inside the object. Or we can make it the Bounding Box, which is the external part of the object and then all the other things stay the same. We can change the mirror axis, so if I select Y, it's going to be down here, and I can use that to potentially create an interesting form this way, or I can change it to Z to have it flip across. After I move this across, you may notice that you aren't able to have your object be mirrored. Sometimes you need to play around with how the mirroring works. So if I move this over here, or if I change this to bounding box and I make it a positive Z and then I move it over like this. Now you can see that it's going to be okay. Every once in a while you do need to play with the mirror command to make sure that your mesh doesn't disappear. You can see now how it disappears this way. So just play around and you can usually get that to work. Now notice what happens when you use the mirror command and you get close. You see how that snaps? Everything closes in in the middle. That's because we have merge border vertices. So you can have don't merge vertices and this will just move across like this. Or I can choose merge border vertices and that will merge them and I can also stretch out and if I change the tolerance of the merge threshold, so if I make that really big, notice that then it connects. So that can be something that is helpful. Then you can also bridge. So this will bridge them so I can be really far away and then bridge those border vertices, which can be super fun to be able to make an object go together. And I can move this closer as well. And then I can also use the smoothing angle of this. So if I get these vertices really close together, sometimes it can create, you know, an, an angle that you don't want to have. And then you can use that is what will be smoothed over. So if I increase this smoothing angle to say 60, then that will round out this point right here where it's joining. So hopefully you can use the mirror tool in Maya to create interesting three-dimensional objects. Happy 3D modeling.